singer, songwriter, New Yorker, Adam Duritz with us this morning. Nice to have you here. Thank you, thank you. And by the way, happy belated, belated birthday. Yesterday was your birthday. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what did we do? Uh, just stayed home with some friends. I, I have a gig tonight. I had to get up early this morning. I told my girlfriend I, I cannot be doing anything loud on my birthday. We went out <laughs> to a loud dinner the night before. Boy, times have changed, Adam, huh? Yeah. I was just thinking of looking at that picture of myself. Youth, man, they just don't let you keep it. So, you know? yeah, I saw you. I, I thought when I was looking at your face, you went like, you took a deep breath. First of all, what a beautiful song around here. Oh, thank you. Um, and I, I felt like you got a little wistful looking well, at that. Well, I've been coasting on my looks for years now, but I really had it right then. <laughs> You had it then. And the dreadlocks was so much like, you know, I'm like, okay, Adam got rid of the dreadlocks about three years ago, right? Yeah, yeah. Is it longer than three? Uh, I don't know. It was before the pandemic. Do you miss it? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I had them for 30 years or so. Uh, I kind of love not having them, although I, I do regret shaving my... I thought at the beginning of the summer on a whim, you know what, I'm going to shave my head because now that I don't have dreadlocks, I can do things like shave my head on a whim. But... Yeah, I wish it would grow back a little bit. I don't really <laughs> love the short hair. Hey, you look good. Um, so, back on the road, performing tonight. Where are you tonight? Uh, tonight is Port Chester, Capitol Theater, for a couple Tic of any, nights. Any tickets available, or do you know? I think these are sold out. Darn it. Okay, because I know you have a few shows in our area before you hit, really hit the road and get out of town, right? Well, we've been doing, like, chunks of shows here and there, some down south in, in May. We just came back from... It's Midwest and West Coast stuff, uh, and we're doing these around New York. We're going to, uh, in September, October, November, we're going to Europe, all over Europe. Uh, that's a real tour. These are kind of chunks of gigs. Right. Um, but that's a real, like, you know, month and a half, two month tour in Europe. So are you uh, just performing the new music, or are you going to incorporate a little bit of the oldies that we love? Uh, well, all, now, all kinds. We love the new music, too. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, you know. The well, thing. we do play the whole suite. You know, all together, like that's a what 19 minutes. It's about 19 minutes okay. uh, at one point, but we're playing songs from every record. So tell us about the suite because um, the way you wrote this, it's kind of unique. And you went off like and secluded yourself for how long? Just writing by yourself in the woods? Well, I was just on my friend's farm, which is in the west of England, and I'd been there for a little while. And I started kind of wanting to play piano. Uh, and I wrote the song, The Tall Grass, one day. And the next day I went back and I was playing it, just trying to figure out if I was actually finished with it. And at the end of the song, I was playing some different music. And I started singing and I sang this line, uh, Bobby was a kid from around the town. And I thought, oh, maybe this is a longer song with different movements, like, like my song, Palisades Park. How does that go again? Palisades Park, I'm not singing that right now. <laughs> it goes a lot of different ways. It's 10 minutes long. It goes a lot of different ways. Adam's uh, like, she's not tricking me into this one. Okay. And then I thought, oh, no, this isn't, this isn't a longer song. This is a different song. Uh, and then I, I got kind of excited about the way it flowed right out of the song before it. And I thought, what if I wrote a whole series of songs that just are all connected like one long song? And I got really excited about that. So I wrote uh, Butter Miracle Suite. Well, everybody's excited about it. I mean, it's doing really well, right? Selling yeah. well, and obviously you can't get a ticket to come see you. <laughs> what is the, what's the secret to keeping Counting Crows together all these years? Well, I think I always made the band a priority. It was never, you know, I, I was really happy being in a band, and once you decide what you want to do, you know, you just make that a priority. It was more important than just something for me. Um, but also, I think we've never really tried to chase whatever we did last time. We've always done whatever we wanted, so we, we never really got bored being us mm. or frustrated being us. Um, and we're still really enjoying it. I mean, it's been almost 30 years. A band should last about five minutes, you know, and to be playing 30 years later, the gigs are sold out. Uh, people, you know, the song on the record was the number one at, at a radio format after all this time. Right. Yeah, it's, it's nice.